Good morning, Jennifer Feline here. This Sunday morning we've been working through Louise Hay, You Can Heal Your Life. So continuing in chapter one, we'll continue with the section. I find that resentment, criticism, guilt, and fear cause more problems than anything else. These four things cause the major problems in our bodies and in our lives. These feelings come from blaming others and not taking responsibility for our own experiences. You see, if we are all responsible for everything in our lives, then there is no one to blame. Whatever is happening out there is only a mirror of our own inner thinking. I'm not condoning other people's poor behavior, but it is our beliefs that attract people who will treat us that way. If you find yourself saying, everyone always does such and such to me, criticizes me, is never there for me, uses me like a doormat, and abuses me, then this is your pattern. There is some thought in you that attracts people who exhibit this behavior. When you no longer think that way, they will go elsewhere and do that to somebody else you would no longer attract them. Following are some results of patterns that manifest on the physical level. Resentment that is long held can eat away at the body and become the disease that we call cancer. Criticism as a permanent habit can often lead to arthritis in the body. Guilt always looks for punishment, and punishment creates pain. When a client comes to me with a lot of pain, I know they are holding on to a lot of guilt. Fear and the tension it produces can create things like baldness, ulcers, and even sore feet. I have found that forgiving and releasing resentment will dissolve even cancer. While this may sound simplistic, I have seen and experienced it working. So again, let's review. She says that resentment, criticism, guilt, and fear cause more problems than anything else. So criticism Do we, are we overly critical in our lives? Do we find ourselves always looking at other people or having an opinion and saying, oh, well, they're not doing it right, or, you know, I would do this, or even critical on ourselves? You know, that's um, a big, big issue. Guilt, what are we guilty about? What is it that we're holding on that we feel so guilty about? Is it that we feel that we're not good enough, that we didn't do enough? Maybe we've made mistakes. Maybe we're not in the place that we want to be in our lives. Are we holding on to all that guilt? Maybe guilt that you're not providing for your family, you're not doing enough for your kids. Um, why are you holding on to that guilt? Fear. A lot of us have fear about money, fear about the future fear about our lives, fear that we're not doing enough. But what use is it to hold on to criticism, guilt, and fear? Because if we hold those things close to us, it doesn't have any room left to bring in love, acceptance, and joy. But if we realize that if we give those things up, if we just give it away, and start to allow other things to be attracted into our lives. Allow other people to be in our inner circles. Who's in your inner circle? Are they positive? Are they supportive? Are they encouraging you? Do they give back love? If they're not, then maybe we need to change the thoughts that we're telling ourselves. This is a very important book. I hope you stay tuned for more of chapter one. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, and we'll continue this discussion. Thank you.